What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So if you watched my video from a few days ago, I told you that something was in the mail and then guys, it finally arrived. Here it is, the Z Automotive Burnbox Gen 2 right there. We're gonna get this bad boy installed and check it out. Um, there's gonna be a, a little bit more talking in this video um, simply because it's a really simple plug and play install and there's a few things that I wanna talk about um, with this. So this is gonna be more of a talking video. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to get this installed. I'll show you how to install it, and I'll show you how to activate it. Um, but first, let's get the talking out of the way. So, guys, if you're not familiar, um, this is a Xeon Motive Burnbox Gen 2. So this is for light shows. Um, everybody knows about the Taser. And uh, this guy right here runs $209, um, whereas the Taser runs almost, I think, $289. Um, so it's going to be over $300 with tax and shipping. Um, so this right here is, in my opinion, for guys who already have um, um, a scat pack or a Hellcat or even an RT or an SXT uh, with the uh, performance package. So um, basically, my scat pack uh, comes with, uh, you know, launch control, line lock, performance pages, um, drive modes, all that stuff. So I really didn't need to spend the money on the Taser um, since most of that stuff is already activated. And so all I really wanted was a light show. So the burn box is the, the one that you wanna get if you wanna save some money and you don't need uh, all the features that the Taser comes with because maybe your car already has most of that stuff. There are a few things that the Taser does extra that your car doesn't already do. Um, but nonetheless, um, if you, if you don't have um, the things that the Taser can activate, um, say you want performance pages, sport mode, um, what are the other things? Ah, the ability to change your DRL location, um, fog light dropout, DRL dropout, things like that, and you want to save a ton of money, um, check out the uh, Alpha OBD app. So that, really quick, is um, an app on the, on the Google Play Store. So you have to make sure that you have an Android device. If you don't have one, I recommend finding a cheap Android tablet on Marketplace or something. That will allow you to do most of the things that the Taser can do. Uh, like I said, uh, activate um, performance pages, sport mode, um, and change all your lighting and stuff like that. It won't do a light show though, guys. So if you wanna save some money, um, I think the app is like 50 bucks and the OBD dongle to connect the app to the car is another 14 bucks. So, you know, you're, you're in it for under $70. And um, whereas the Taser is, you know, 300 plus. So if you guys are just looking to um, activate, you know, performance pages, sport mode, change all your light settings, uh, minus a light show, you're definitely going to want to check out the um, Alpha OBD app. And real quick, I do have a video on Alpha OBD, um, but for the sake of the video, um, I'm just going to kind of compare all three of these really quick in a nutshell. Um, the Taser's great, uh, but you can do a lot of the stuff with the Alpha OBD app for 50 bucks. And that app is actually good on as many vehicles as you want to put it on. Uh, or, or use it on rather. Um, I don't even think there's a limit. So you can use it on infinity vehicles. Whereas these guys, you know, the burn box, the taser, um, that's all married to the vehicle. So uh, really quick, like I said, if you're just looking to activate performance pages, sport mode, um, change your light settings, you know, DRLs, um, fog light dropout, um, high beams, you know, high beams, well, the, the fog light dropout is uh, high beams on or, I'm sorry, fog lights on with high beams. That can all be accomplished with the Alpha OBD app. And, you know, like I said, 50 bucks plus $14 for the OBD dongle to communicate to the car um, is well worth it. Um, like I said, it can do most of the stuff that the Taser can do, minus light show and a couple other small things. So if you really want to save a lot of money, check out uh, the uh, Alpha OBD app. And uh, if you really want light show, but you don't need anything that the Taser can do, then the burn box is what you're going to want to get. So without further ado, let's get this installed and I'll show you how to activate it. And remember, um, the Alpha OBD app, 
is only available on the Google Play Store. So if you don't have an uh, Android device, you're going to want to look for a, a cheap tablet um, on Marketplace, so that way you can download the uh, Alpha OBD app and you'll be good to go. Alright guys, so the directions tell you to plug this into the OBD2 port under the dash by the uh, emergency brake pedal. That is not what you do on the 17 and ups, since the 17 and ups require this guy right here. This is the double bypass cable from Z Automotive. Um, I also have a video on this, on the installation, and um, where to purchase this. So if you want to check out that video, um, this is required on 17 and ups um, to change settings in the BCM. If you have a tuner, um, Alpha OBD, and these, uh, the taser, the burn box, anything that you want to do and you have to get into the computer, you need a double bypass cable. So you can pick one of those up on the Z Automotive website and it goes in the trunk, it's plug and play, and it stays in there forever. Um, or you can unplug it if you want to and use it. This you can use on as many vehicles as you want. So there's no limit here. Um, so for installation, it's literally just as simple as plugging it in and that's it. And it has to be plugged in to use it. So if you unplug it, you're gonna lose um, you're gonna lose the ability to use light show. So uh, leave it plugged in. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's not gonna kill your battery. I've had it plugged in for days and no effect. So um, yeah, just let that sit there. Close your trunk cover or your spare tire cover here, and uh, close the trunk. And uh, I'll show you how to activate it with the key fob, and I'll show you how to activate it with the steering wheel controls inside the vehicle. All right, guys, so to activate it with the key fob, you're going to unlock, unlock, lock, unlock. And that will start the first preset. And then to cycle through, just keep hitting unlock. There's number two, three, and so on. And to turn it off, you simply just lock it. And it's off. Now I'll show you how to activate it from inside the vehicle. All right, guys, so a couple quick things. Um, if your car has HIDs, uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your burn box or taser, whatever you have, plug it into your computer, uh, download the driver, and... Um, once it's downloaded, um, you'll have a, a Z Automotive icon. You click on that, and uh, you'll be able to configure your light shows. So um, under the configuration menu, it's going to have a list of all your vehicle lighting, uh, headlights, high beams, uh, side markers, front turns, rear turns, rear brake, parking lights, DRL lights, all that stuff. Make sure if you have HIDs, to the first thing you do is turn off... Um, headlights and high beams those two boxes uncheck um, because it's just gonna burn your headlight bulbs and ballasts. Uh the constant on and off flashing is absolutely atrocious for uh, HIDs and it, it'll just it'll be a mess so do yourself a huge favor and make sure that you shut headlights and high beams off and the second thing is um, under that same checkbox list um, there's an option to have the lights active while the car is running and driving. I have it checked. I have it on. So that way, if I feel like, you know, if you want to pull into a, a, um, a car show or you're in a parade or something and you want the lights flashing while you're driving, check that box. So when you check that box, it's going to come up with a little disclaimer, you know, saying, hey, you know, this is not for road use. This is illegal to drive this way, blah, blah, blah. Hit OK and you're good to go. So, um, to activate it from in the car, I'm just going to put it on accessory. Uh, it can be on accessory, it can be running, it can be driving down the road, doesn't matter. So in accessory, or inside the vehicle rather, um, you're going to want to make sure that you are in your audio menu uh, on your speedometer uh, screen here. And you're going to hold the left arrow and hit cancel. And then 
I don't know if you can see that, but it says light show. You're going to hold the left arrow and hit cruise on or the center button here. And there we go. Light show one. And then you hold the left arrow and the center cruise on button again to cycle through to the next light show. There's light show two, light show three, light show four, light show five, light, uh, I have actually six turned off, so it went to light show C2. So C2 is custom, uh, custom two, uh, because I am working on a custom uh, light show. I'll get into that here in a little bit. Uh, and to turn it off, simply left arrow and hit the cancel button again, and it will turn everything off. Uh, you don't have to keep cycling through to turn it off. Uh, a quick off is left arrow, cancel. And that is it. Guys, if you are um, at a car show or something and you want your light show to stay on, remember earlier how I said if you hit the lock button, it turns it off? Um, if you are at a car show and you want to walk around whatever you lock your car, um, to keep the light show active while the car is locked, you simply use the um, lock button on the outside handle to lock the car, and that will keep the light show going. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Really quick, um, I am working on a couple custom light shows, and it's extremely difficult to make a light show. Um, it's it's really hard to like get a good pattern down with the lights. Um, so I'm I've been working on one for a couple days, and uh, I I have it almost finalized right now. So in the next video. Um, I'm going to be doing a more in-depth video of um, showing you guys what every preset um, light show looks like front and back. So there are six preset light shows that come with the burn box and taser and three custom uh, light shows that you can make custom light shows with. So I'm working on one right now, like I said, and uh, I just about finished it up. So when I'm finished with it, um, we're going to go down and uh, when it gets a little darker out and I will go more in depth on what every single uh, light show looks like and I will share my custom light show as well with you guys. And I will even show you um, my sequence so that way if you like the light show you can just copy it and uh, you don't have to monkey around with trying to duplicate it or, or uh, make your own and it's just not happening. It's just a really hard thing to do. Um, it's really tricky. You have to constantly unplug it from the car, plug it in your computer, make a couple adjustments, plug it back into the car, and keep doing that until you finally get it right. Uh, so with that, guys, it's going to be a long weekend. Uh, we got the 22 wide body here finally, and uh, I'm going to be doing some comparison videos between the 21 and the 22 because there are a couple differences. So guys, stay tuned for that video, and stay tuned for my next burn box video. That's going to be the one where I show you all the different light modes and my custom one. Uh, so with that, have a great fourth and uh, be safe and we will catch you on the next one.